What is up my bitch, it's your girl Amina, back with Sip of Beauty, and I am here to share with you what I definitely, definitely need for this dude of mine, okay? I can't really speak for y'all, I can't tell you what you need, but I can suggest some things that you may need. First and foremost, I want to say welcome to all my new beauties who are here with me. Go ahead and click in so that way you're getting in on this Wash and Go series, um, as well as, you know, picking up the tidbits. Pick up some gems, you know, look at my videos to see what it is that you just wanna learn about a wash and go or just about your hair in general. But go ahead and sis, chill, relax, okay? And enjoy this video, okay? And make sure you subscribe, okay? So yo, let's get right into this video. So like I said, I can't tell you what you need, but I can suggest a few things. But I will tell you my absolute most favorite accessories, okay? When it comes to my hair, okay? So first thing first, the very first thing I want to share with y'all is beauties, my Felicia Leatherwood brush, okay? So this is the Felicia Leatherwood brush. Now, the one thing I like about this brush, sorry y'all, I have a little bit. My little curls is in this brush. But the one thing I like about this brush is how sturdy it is, okay? This is a very sturdy brush. And I feel like it gives so easily when I'm using it in my hair, okay? It doesn't fight against my curls. It doesn't pull out my hair. Um, it's just an overall good sturdy brush. And I have very thick hair, so I can't afford to use anything that does not have a sturdy base, a sturdy foundation to it um, because it will snag my hair. Now I'll tell you this. I swore by my demon brush. I swore, swore, swore by my demon brush. But I will tell you, I want to also include in this video that I no longer use my demon brush. And the reason being is because the teeth on a demon brush, I love the demon brush. By all means, I loved it, okay? But when it comes to the cleanliness of the demon brush, when it comes to this Felicia Leatherwood brush, it's easy to clean because you don't have to, like with the demon brush, you had to remove the teeth, you had to remove the whole base, basically. Um, of the brush in my opinion to get under the rubber part of the brush and clean it out okay but with this you can see the whole brush I can see through I can see the teeth I can see if my brush is dirty with the dimming brush you will never know if your dimming brush is dirty unless you take it out of the overall handle so with a dimming brush it can slide out okay if you do not know what a dimming brush is usually you can slide your dimming brush out you can change how many rows of teeth you want in your dimming brush which was something nice but overall the dimming brush also had very sharp teeth on it okay so with this i have more rounded teeth on the brush and it doesn't snag my hair and i realized with the dimming brush even though it was coaching my curls it was snagging my hair. Reality was it was snagging my hair because it just wasn't, it wasn't strong enough for my hair. And with things with sharper teeth, it will snag your hair and break your hair. So I decided to just use my Felicia Leatherwood brush. Felicia, I love it, boo. But this brush, I think ran me about 20, $25. Well worth every penny, I'm telling you now. You might think to yourself, this might be expensive for a brush, but it is well worth it, okay? you would not be dissatisfied when it comes to this brush okay so this is an absolute must now one thing i did just recently purchase was my three row comb okay so my three row comb is something i use too because when i am doing wash and goes sometimes like i said you all my hair is thick okay and my hair loves to tangle danced my curls of the dance with each other and just intermingle with one another okay so with that being said once i section off my hair in two small sections my hair still will tend to tangle however with this i'm able to go in and because it's so much smaller than my felicia leatherwood brush i'm able to go in and just glide this comb through and comb out my sections and it also coaches my curls just as much as the felicia leatherwood brush does okay so these two things here really coat your curls. Um, you can coat your curls um, really good with these two brushes, get them to form for you and everything else. So I really, really, really love these brush, this brush and this comb. 
since we are on brushes and combs also i feel like everyone needs some type of pick okay i love this pick okay um metal pick because to me it's just much more sturdier as well like i said my dude is thick and i need some reinforcement okay so with that being said the teeth on this as well is not too pointy it's not going to snag my hair and it's very long so i don't have to feel like i have to part my hair a lot i'm able to just take this put it in my hair because it is so long and it covers a great deal of my scalp as well and i'm able to pick my hair out so this is by far one of my my it is my favorite pick this is my favorite pick okay so yeah so moving along the next thing that you want to make sure you have is we're gonna go to the shower y'all a shower cap okay this shower cap is huge y'all i mean huge mm-hmm mm-hmm darling 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 this is a huge shower cap okay so what do i like about this shower cap i like that it's huge i like that it's just big for no reason okay i like that my hair can actually fit inside of this shower cap there is really no limit i'm telling you if somebody's hair is bigger than this shower cap honey well i don't know what to tell them okay but i like that i have a shower cap that actually covers all of my hair okay and yeah and I feel like I don't get a lot of water. No water. No water gets in this shower cap. I found this on Amazon. And a lot of my products I found on Amazon, y'all. So, but I'll link everything below so that way you can know exactly where I found them. And anything that I do not show here physically, I'll put up on the screen you right now. I got y'all. But yeah, I love this over exaggerated, just big for no reason shower cap, okay? It is black, it is plastic, and everything else. Like I said, and it's a nice, it's a nice type of material too plastic so um yeah i love this shower cap y'all and i'm thinking about getting another one so that way i can have backups so i think i might buy two or three more so that way i can just have backups in case i lose this one my kiddos always move all of my stuff when they come to my office they're always constantly moving my stuff so the shower cap so one thing i do not have on me at this time let me that right there is the um hair it's a drain stopper okay so i'll put that on the screen so i think i shared this in my amazon finds video so um it's a drain stopper okay so what happens is it's this, this cute little small gadget that goes actually into your drain and it stops any hair that you have that is shedding or any type of hair fall so my hair sheds all the time okay ain't a day my hair don't shed okay so with that being said i have hair in the drain and it stops it. it clogs it stops it from clogging up your drain okay so the hair actually wraps around the gadget so when you pull it out of the drain the entrance to your drain you can see that the hair is wrapped around and yeah it might be yucky and everything else but just know it's your hair it's your dirt that's on you that is on that little gadget okay so i try to clean that every time i get in the shower and wash up clean it off and put it back inside of the entrance of my drain so that little gadget is really neat and it's worth every penny as well i want to say i paid about no more than 15 dollars for that honestly so i think it's something really neat you can also place it in your sinks too okay so just know that it can you know go on your drain like your your tub or it can go in your sink as well okay so i tend to put it in my sink whenever i'm washing a girl's hair so that way hair is not getting in my drain as well okay so yeah that is that that is the shower so we are done with the shower the next thing i feel like i have to have to always have is my silk scrunchies y'all you have to always have silk scrunchies because why wouldn't we have silk scrunchies like why wouldn't we have silk scrunchies you always need silk scrunchies either for parting your hair off putting your hair up in um, a, a hairstyle, even if you wanna push it out of the way, um, banding your hair with scrunchies. Of course, we know that silk is easy on our hair. And yeah, you just have to have these around. Why not? They always have to be lying around. I think my pack I got was a 50 pack or a 100 pack or something like that. I'm not sure, but I'll put that information in my description box below. So you'll have all that as well. Since we're talking about silk, I'm going to tell you, you must, sis, have a bonnet. Always have a bonnet, y'all. Don't ever not have a bonnet. I'm telling you, if you are doing all of this routine stuff and you don't have a bonnet, you're wasting your time. As well as a silk pillowcase. So I'm going to put that up there too. You want to make sure you have a silk pillowcase, sis. 
I'm telling you, if you're doing all this stuff, keeping your hair healthy, you are wasting your time if you do not have a silk bonnet and a silk pillowcase. Always have a backup because if your bonnet comes off your head, then you have your pillowcase which you're laying on your pillow, okay? So if your bonnet comes off, you have backup and that is your silk pillow, okay? Yo, I, don't, I can't tell you how many times my bonnet may slip off in the middle of the night and just don't happen i have my silk pillow backing me up that's my homeboy so make sure you have both um i can tell you now dollar tree has a lot of silk pillowcases you can go purchase okay and just have on deck okay so yeah make sure you get your bonnets and this bonnet is like oversized too so that's why i like this bonnet too y'all <laughs> y'all know i love my bonnet so yeah keep your bonnets y'all keep your bonnets on your head and keep your pillowcases in your bed okay silk pillowcases so the next thing i have is hair clips so with hair clips i no longer use these because they have sharp teeth on them the teeth on this clip is very sharp and it can snag your hair no good for you do not buy these but i have bought these which i love because they have like this little rubber band that holds your hair um and it keeps the clip in place and i love all the colors i got a pack that was like tropical colors tropical colors and they're so cute so pretty i love vibrant colors i also have these as well they're like called i think they call alligator clips or something like that but these as well are very good for your hair too it's not you don't have all of these sharp um ridges and everything else snagging your hair um this is a pack one of the pack i have bought and it's pastel color so yeah i have those clips and then i also have these black clips as well so these clips are really really good too okay so they're not going to snag your hair they're not going to break your hair okay you need clips that's not going to snag your hair do not buy clips that have the sharp teeth in the inside as well those will snag your hair as well okay so whoops that will snag your hair so you want to make sure that you have clips that are um hair friendly um of course you have to have your water bottle everyone needs a water bottle why do you need your water bottle because you need to moisturize and mist your hair okay remember i said marry the two moisturize and mist you'll do moisturize and mist you'll do moisturize and mist your do okay you always need a water bottle to mist your do sis okay we always want to make sure we're hydrating our hair so how do we do that we need a spray bottle to do that <laughs> we need a spray bottle y'all we need a spray bottle so i have this bottle here i got off of amazon i'll like i said link below um and i put all of my nutritional waters up in this do okay with this bottle i use clove water rose water um uh, all types of water y'all anything you can think of aloe vera water i use a lot of nutritional water so always make sure you have a water bottle um y'all let me make sure i got everything because i'm going down my list here and i just gotta make sure that we hitting off on every little thing okay oh last but not least y'all last but not least okay um my opinion everyone needs a steamer and a dome dryer i said it <laughs> So, if you do not have a steamer or a dome dryer as of now, I say, sis, research them, look into them, especially the steamer, because I know people are like up in the air about steamers and everything else. So, I will always encourage you to get a steamer and a dome dryer um, and learn how to use them properly, okay? But a dome dryer, first off, saves you time with any hair set that you're gonna do. Perm rod sets, flexi rod sets, uh, wash and goes. A dome dryer just comes through and does a thing for you okay so make sure you have that on deck no matter what a steamer is something that could be optional in a sense of do i really need this okay you can also purchase a diffuser comb okay so i dropped a video on that as well so diffuser combs are less expensive than a dome dryer but i'm telling you a dome dryer will dry your hair faster than a diffuser comb but with that being said make sure you have a steamer as well um if you do not know anything about a steamer i will link that up top for you because Y'all know, y'all sis, cut that video for all of y'all so y'all can have y'all's answers and everything else. And feel free to ask me questions about the steamer if you need to. But sis, get a steamer because I'm telling you it's going to get those deep conditioners and hair masks and oil treatments, hot oil treatments for your hair together for you, okay? It's going to make everything just that more better, okay? 
much more better for you all right so yeah make sure you have your steamer in a dumb dryer but y'all this is it i'm not gonna keep on talking y'all because we getting a little too up there close to 20 minutes y'all but that is it this is what i have for you this is what I feel like is a necessity for me. And so, yeah, if you like any of these items, I'm going to link them below so you can get your hands on them as well. But until next time, my beauties, I'll catch you all later. I am not going to hold you up any longer. And yeah, we're going to get straight to this, y'all. But if you are here and you still have yet to subscribe, sis, go ahead and subscribe. Come on now. Subscribe, sis. Do what you got to do, okay? Go ahead and be a part of this beauty team, okay? Because we all beautiful over here. <laughs> no, but until next time, I'll catch you all later, my loves. Have a beautiful and wonderful and blessed day. I love you all, and I will catch you all later on my next video. Bye-bye.